What's up, Metal Heads Gamers and Nerds, and welcome back to the channel. This is The Artful Escape, a story about an artist wanting to be who he wants to be instead of what everyone expects him to be. Let's get into it. So as far as I understand, you're like the nephew or son of some dude that's very famous country music dude, but you wanna fucking rock. So it's gonna be an interesting one, man. Looking really forward to this one. The visual fucking style is so cool though. I'm really digging it. There we are. Born rocker living in the country lad's body. What a fucking weird looking ass guitar, man. <laughs> it's a strummer folk ballad about 12 minus life hold X. Let's do it. That feeling today, buddy. Let's play folk anthem about the green areas of Calypso Colorado. Hold X. Let's do it. I'm still not feeling it. Alright, let our great adventure begin, shall it? Oh. You naughty little boy. The share is sci-fi guitar to see old eggs. Let's do this. Oh, beautiful man. I can feel it already, man. Sounds a bit desk clocky. <laughs> oh. Your look doesn't match your sound. <gasps> Excuse me? You dress like a drifter, but you sound like a space opera. Complete tonal disconnect. It gives me anxiety. <laughs> oh, sorry. That that was. I'm I'm usually much more serious. I play folk music. You look like you do. Yeah, I know, right? I mean, I'm trying to write for this show. My first show. I don't know why, but my homie it reminds me of Stevie too. Uh huh. Probably the glasses. But after a while, it feels like I'm strumming backwards, and my mind wanders away. Where to? Ooh, we get choices. Unfathomable depths of space, plants without names, mid nebula suspended in sunbeam. That sounds pretty dope. Let's go with that mid one. Mid nebula suspended in a sunbeam. You seem a little lost, kid. Which is good. I find lost young men are in the business of irrational and dangerous decisions. Wouldn't you agree? Danger, huh? I wasn't listening. Not sure about dangerous, but I am irrational. Uh, let's go with Not this sure one. Not sure about dangerous, but I am irrational. Excellent. I need you to accompany me to the summit on Leaf Road Ridge. I'm going to commit a crime. Who are you? What is the crime? Okay, I'll do it. Who are you, bastard? Who are you? I'm Violetta. Really? I couldn't tell about the colors. I can assure you there's nothing strange about me at all. Oh yeah, definitely not. What's the crime? What's the crime? The best kind. Ah, oh, come on, man. The mysterious kind. Stop killing me over here. Well, I guess there's no other option, so let's do it. Okay. I'll do it. Let's be a rogue. I knew you would. I'll stop it. You didn't. Dope. <laughs> okay, my little folk buddy. Let's not yeet ourselves off the cliff, shall we? 
Really digging this art style, dude. So peaceful, man. Giving me some Life is Strange vibes, and that's a very good thing. This why to interact. Summit. Kids come here to hang out. At least they used to. A lot of folks moving on from Calypso. Hee-ho! Don't break your legs now, buddy. Well, you don't really need them if you're a guitar player, but still. Can I go that way? Doesn't seem like it. Beautiful vista, though. Jump. Howdy ho! Just enjoying this background music, man. This is so fucking peaceful, dude. I'm zenning out over here, and I like that. I really dig it. Summit of Leaf Leaf Road Ridge. come from after party for your show Rami's gonna move the crowd up here after the liquor license scratches the skiffle band is playing they really love skiffle good for them I'll give him a chance they're quite forceful with their opinions on skiffle I'll give him a chance plug into the amp on stage I'll patch you in is this your stuff of course not Oh. Living the dangerous life now, boy. Come on, get your ass on stage. Hold X to play a folk ballad. Let's ballad the shit out of this. Stop. No Johnson Vendetti clone folk. <laughs> Play the stuff from the lookout. Ooh, you want to hear me shred, baby? Oh, no. Seriously, that's nonsense. Hey, when it comes to nonsense, I'm one of the greats. Play. Yeah, the lady, buddy. Let's fucking rock. No, not that one. Play again. That's worse than the first one. No, oh, come on. What do you want from me? You're making me nervous over here. Bonanza. That's it. I want the Space Odyssey. What are you taking? Nothing. Valves. Later. What have you done, Wait, young lady? Is this Rami stuff? You're stealing valves from Rami? Yeah, so? He killed a man in Boulder. Everyone says so. Punched him in the neck. I know. I'm Francis. Francis Vendetti. I know who you are, kid. I saw the flyers. There's a very tiny picture of you on it. <laughs> oh shit. He's got burned, buddy. I never signed off on the flyers. You ever made it to the top? Been too scared to try. Chet, man. That question could have went two ways, man. Like, you ever made it in what you're trying to do as a on your journey as a musician? I mean, that shit gets deep, buddy. I kind of feel like that was a two-way question. Whoa. It's 
beautiful. Sure is, buddy. Sure is. Yeah, you could really kill yourself from up here. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. That, that's why we're up here. You shred pretty well. Thank for you, a folk singer. Thanks, I know. I'm okay. What are you gonna be humble? Let's go for good old thanks. Thanks. So you're standing in the shadows of Johnson Vendetti, huh? He's my uncle. That must suck. It ain't so bad. It's just that I guess folks think they know who I am. Where I should be going. Hmm. Have you considered becoming someone else entirely? How do you mean? Might tell you about it someday. I gotta scram. Stay weird, kid. Hey, will I see you around town? You know Lightman's in Calypso? In Calypso? There's no such place. Maybe you're not looking hard enough. Someone else entirely. I can tell this is gonna be a great story, man. About an artist becomes who he wants to be, man. And I think that's fucking beautiful. I mean, to all the artists watching this playthrough, we can learn a lot from this, guys. I mean, this doesn't just have to apply to being a musician. It can be any form of art, man. Always strive to be who you want to be. If Rami finds out I was up here when his gear got stolen, well, I'd rather not think about it. I'm gonna book it back to town and forget the whole thing. That's right, brother. There you are, kid. Salty Seagull. What a venue. It's a place to hide in the back of your mind. It's a soft, just like a hummingbird when she touches the sky. And you've got no and you don't know just why. You're the child of the river coming home tonight, sweet rose of lost in your wings tonight. Will you run, baby? Welcome to Calypso. Oh, Johnson and Daddy. Rip. Man dead? That's a killer opening to a fucking game, man. What a journey so far. It's, it's basically just starting. I'm super ready, yes. I'm super ready. Alright, let's see how the folk react to me walking around. So far, pretty chill, pretty chill. No, like, super fans or anything. Bit disappointing. Alright. You a fan, buddy? Yeah. My music's a good show anyway. Francis! You little bastard. Come to me, my love. Not the fan I was expecting. Goldie, you lose it? Oh, perhaps a bit. I have a ticket to your recital. Got a lot of new material. Probably an album's worth. I think when you're beneath those lights, I might catch a glimpse of my old friend. Oh, Goldie, I don't think. I believe it's 955. I hope so too. Oh, you'll believe, not I'll. Fuck me. Okay, let's go if I hope so too. I hope so too. You look like him, you know. Your uncle. I know, Goldie. I really do. <laughs> I keep getting it from everyone. Why you gotta bring it up? I think this place used to be a watchmaker. Undeniably haunted. Possible hub of underage drinking. 
Aw, yeah. Man of the hour. Hey, Tao. Yo, I've never seen so many people in town. Yeah, it's horrible. You listen to that record? Yeah. I kind of loved it, actually. Now that surprises me. What with you being a, a serious folk musician? Catch you later, Tao. Yeah, I can't be serious lately. Keep scratching. Skip spacing out. You ever heard of Lightman's? Oh, let's go with this one. Yeah, can't be serious lately. Keep spacing out. You gotta let it happen, man. Play blues, play funk, blow minds. How about some rock and fucking roll, brother? Yeah, sure. Let's see what I can do. I'll catch you later, Tao. Calypso is usually much quieter. It's quieter each summer, the old folks say. People are here for the anniversary of my uncle's album, Pines. It's kind of like a festival. Damn. Everyone's pretty excited. You sound a bit nervous, man. The Johnson Vendetti Festival ends tomorrow night. The finale is at the Salty Seagull, where Johnson Vendetti's nephew will take the stage for the first time. Oh shit, first show, man. That's me. Oh yeah, that is you, brother. And we're gonna kill that show, definitely. You avoiding me, son? No, Rami, no. I find you very intimidating. What am I doing, Francis? You... I have no idea. I'm smiling. That's it. And when I'm smiling, you know I don't mean nothing shady or untoward. Despite the gravity of the words I might be speaking. Right. We got a full house tomorrow night. My face is friggin' hurting. I'm smiling so much when I say you will play songs exclusively from the personal repertoire of your uncle. Ooh. Back off, dude. Or you will misplace teeth. Well then, I suppose we have an accord. Clearly this man does not understand where art comes from. It's from the heart, man. You can't force someone to play something. that They just feel, dude. It'll forever sound soulless, man. And make sure you show your face at the after party, huh? And if I refuse? Cafe Cliché. Their pastries are in the shape of a villain's gnarled grin. Hmm, that's pretty cool. Yeah, well, before we hop onto that, any more converse we can have? Mm, look who's come wandering by. Hey, start blowing trumpets, lads. It's Francis Vendetti. Fern, Lonnie, Angus. Angus. Your show is sold out. You know that? Yeah, I saw the posters. Mm, there better be some skiffle in your show, Vendetti, for your sake. I'm just telling you, because I'm your pal. Skiffle? Like... Jazz with pots and pans? Watch your mouth, Vendetti. The Beatles had skiffle roots. It's coming back in a big way. Hotter than folk music tell you that for free. Hmm. Hey, little doggy. Hey, old fella. 10 out of 10. Game of the year. Can pet a dog. I love this place, but it's killing me. It's a sight, make no mistake. I have a dream when I swim up that waterfall. Man wants to spread his wings, dude. And everyone seems to be holding this dude back. It's kind of sad, man. I love this place, but it's killing me. Alright, let's do the lift. Up, up, and away we go. That's a dodgy ass lift, I'm just saying. What have you come as? Zombie Van Daddy. No oh, shit. That is in poor taste.
Okay, nothing much more this way. Except some more sexy beasts. Dodgy ass left. Hey, you're Johnson Vendetti's kid. Nephew. Sure, whatever. Saw the Flyers free show, man. Probably won't check it out, though. Okay, whatever. Don't mean nothing nasty, honestly. I'm sure you're a good kid. But you've got no chance. Of what? Johnson Vendetti was a folk mastermind once in a generation. And genius ain't hereditary, kid. Well, always nice to get the thoughts of an industry heavyweight. <laughs> It was like a low-key burn telling him like, who are you to tell me you're like a nobody and I'm like kind of famous? Well, at least my uncle is famous, but I can rock like the best of them. Cassandra, you're leaving? What happened? Intrigue, laser lights, shops disappearing in the night. I won't put up with it. Who's got lasers? Don't mind all that. I'm leaving. Aren't you... Cassandra, I'm devastated. You're just the only shop I bother to steal from. Lies, lies. You can come visit me down the road in Donnybrook. Here, choose a book. From me to you. Sci-fi dribble. Just how you dig it. Yeah. Alright, let's see. A scientist poisons his town's water supply to appear to them as an alien being. A king disguises himself as a piece of overcast sky. Weird. Using an illegal avatar, a mutant rises to the asteroid of a cyber city. Hmm. Uh, let's see. I kind of like the first one. Whoa. Well, aren't you going to thank me? I'm sorry. I think I was having an epiphany. Well, savor it, my friend. What I wouldn't give for a good epiphany. Hey, <laughs> you ever heard of a place called Lightman's? Francis, I don't think you want to be... <clears throat> Actually, no. Never mind. I've never heard of it. Now run along. Go practice. Damn, my lady. Plant page. Expensive books. Minimal security. Why well, you gotta be stealing, boy? That ain't right. No, oh, another dodgy ass lift. Let's first see what's to the left. I never recognize anyone who eats here. Probably a hub for time travelers. Hey, maybe, dude. You never know. Hello, Woody. It's no fun. Um, hello? Francis Vendetti. The pleasure's all mine. Mayor Swartz here. How did you know... I like to have my ear to the ground, my boy. Felt the vibration. Ready for the big show? Uh, it, yeah, just rounding off the corners. Excellent, excellent, really. The town's counting on you, son. What with businesses closing up, low voter morale, mayoral corruption. Haven't you been the mayor for like 12 years? And a series of unexplainable events that have no basis in fact whatsoever. You can put them right out of your head. Very dodgy, man. Unexplainable events? I shouldn't speak about it over the phone. All I'm saying is this. Your show's important, Vendetti. There's a lot of folks out there counting on you. Wow. Okay. Don't cock it up. No pressure. No pressure at all. Dodgy ass lift. <laughs> I'll keep saying it. <laughs> right. Dodgy ass lift. I'm looking at you through the glass. Hey, Lucy. <sighs> I'm supposed to tell everyone we got Johnson Vendetti's 20th anniversary release of Pines in stock. I've got a copy, Lucy. The folk masterpiece. The voice of an American generation, or whatever. 12 million copies sold. Ah. Okay, yeah. Those are amateur numbers. Lucy, 
You got any records by people pretending to be someone else? I mean, sure. You got Captain Beefheart, legendary Stardust Cowboy. Oh, Hank Williams pretended to be a character called Luke the Drifter. Hank Williams? Really? Why would he do that? To say stuff he couldn't say as Hank Williams. No, oh, Bethany time again. Whoa. You okay? Yeah. I keep spacing out. Too much room, brother. Too much rooms. You ever heard of a place called Lightman's? Thanks, Lizzie. You're coming to the show. You ever heard of a place called Lightman's? A place called Lightman's? Mm, no. You all are lying to me, and I do not know why. You want me to check out back? Nah, got a feeling you won't find it. You coming to the show? I'll go to the show. Not going to the after party. You don't like the Skiffle band? They're like Jimmy Page started in Skiffle. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> That's a good impression. Yeah. Everyone loves Jimmy for his Skiffle. Exactly. Thanks, Lucy. My place. Childhood home of Johnson Vendetti. It's a shrine. It's a fancy ass place, my dude. And a tomb. Oh man, that went dark really quick. Alright, well before we head home, let's see if there's anything for us to discover here. Yeah. I just yeeted myself off the cliff, okay? Jump the railing! End my suffering. Honey, how was your day? Was everyone excited to see you before the show? Uh, yeah. I'm really excited. Buckaroo? Uh-huh. You don't seem yourself. Don't seem myself? Why are we tripping again? I've decided to create the most elaborate stage persona the world has ever seen. Okay. I'm listening. Will you be down for dinner? We're having enchiladas. The boy you loved may already be gone. That's my dad and my uncle. They were really close, mom says. From the beginning until the end. That's one fucking cool ass fridge magnet. I need me one of them. No one asks me about my dad much. Wonder why. Oh. Yeah! Flush mechanics, let's go! Oh, here we go. Where the magic happens, baby. Could people believe an alien could play music? Could the radio intercept intergalactic transmissions? This man's all about space. It's quite interesting. I should put on a record and chill out. Let me take one more look around. I always first do that. Could I step on stage, not as myself, but as someone else entirely? Person you want to be, eh? Alright, let's do this. away from the infinite on the far side of a thin film of atmosphere lies a tundra beyond the limits of human comprehension the universe in all its grandeur its wonder and desolation it's utterly death clock man <laughs> miles away the stairway to the great cosmic symphony is at our feet 
Oh boy. Let's see where this man's mind's gonna take us now, guys. What the hell am I looking at? Oh. This should turn into a horror game pretty quickly. this late all right my friends i'm gonna end the first episode here this game is fucking cool so far man i mean I, I believe if you're an artist yourself this game will really hit like deep so really looking forward to continuing this one uh thanks for watching my friends and uh like and subscribe if you like the content so far and look out for the next episode coming pretty soon man so yeah as always keep it metal cheers